I'm going to show you how to get the latitude and longitude values from this GPS receiver that I bought from Parallax. So notice that it has these wires uh, and they're of different colors. The only three wires that we're going to be using are the red, black and yellow wires. The red and black wires go connected to the 3.3 uh, volts or 5 volts on your Arduino pin and ground respectively. The yellow wire goes to pin 2 of the Arduino or it can go to any other pin as you will see in a moment according to our software. But for now just connect it to pin 2 so that it goes with the uh, program that I wrote. So let's check out the program. The first thing you need to do is include the software serial library and also include the tiny GPS library. You probably don't have the uh, tiny GPS library installed. So what you want to do is go to this website and I will post the link in the description of this video. So go to this website, download the library, extract, extract the folder, go to your libraries folder in your Arduino folder and paste the tiny GPS folder in there. Just like I have it here. So once you have done that, we have the two libraries that we need. Now go ahead and create a latitude and longitude variable of type long. Create a serial, a software serial object. I'm calling mine GPS serial. Pin 2 is a pin where uh, we will be receiving the data from the sensor. Like I said, make sure that you connect the yellow wire to pin 2. The other pin value doesn't really matter, that is the uh, transmitter pin and we're not sending any data to the GPS. So you can make that number be anything except for 0 or 1. And the reason why we're not using the uh, built-in serial communication of the Arduino is because pin 0 and 1 are used to program the Arduino so sometimes they interfere with other stuff you want to do and that's the reason why we're creating our own serial object then go ahead and create an object for your tiny GPS library I call mine GPS in your setup loop begin the uh, serial connection at 9600 and begin the GPS connection at 4800 I got this value from the uh, data sheet for the receiver now in your while loop what you wanna do is see if the uh, serial for the GPS is available so if it does have some data in it, you want to encode that data. So read the data and encode it using the GPS, tiny GPS library. Then go ahead and get the position, which will give you the latitude and longitude and store it in the latitude and longitude variable. So after this line, my lat and long variable have the latitude and longitude that the GPS receiver sent. Lastly, go ahead and print out the data. So let's see the result. So this is my serial monitor and it's printing out the latitude and longitude. Now if you're familiar with latitudes and longitude values, uh, you're going to notice that these values are actually out of range and that is correct. If you uh, just google the range for the latitude and longitude, you're going to see that the latitude ranges from negative 90 to 90 and the longitude ranges from negative 180 to 180. So that means that my latitude variable should be divided by a factor of 10 of around 6 numbers and uh, my longitude variable should also be divided 
by a factor of also six numbers to give me the correct range or the correct value for my latitude and longitude. So my latitude should be 37.323758. My latitude should be negative 121.912880. To check that your receiver is sending the right values, all you need to do is Google those values. So here I have Google 37.323758 comma negative 122.912880 and of course that gave me a uh, Google Maps image with that value plotted on the map and that is how you use GPS receivers. Thank you for watching.